السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته. This is Najwa Hussaini with Azad News. You ensured Rohingya data without informed consent. Burma's post coup economic free fall hits are can harder than most. The UN improperly collected and shared data from more than 800,000 Rohingya refugees in Bangladesh, passing it on to Burma, the country they fled, Human Rights Watch said. Tuesday urging an investigation. Over the past three years, the UN Refugee Agency has registered hundreds of thousands of Rohingya refugees in Bangladeshi camps, enabling Dhaka to provide them with identity cards needed to access essential aid and services. But according to a fresh HRW report, the refugees were generally not made aware that the data they were providing would also be used by the Bangladeshi government to submit details about them to authorities in neighboring Burma with a view to possible repatriation. The UNHCR refuted this with spokesman Andre Mahachik telling AFP that the refugee agency has clear policies in place to ensure the safeguarding of the data we collect when registering refugees all over the world. HRW, however, said the refugees often likely did not understand that the data being collected, including photographs, fingerprints, and biographic data could be shared with Burma. This, the report said, was particularly concerning in the case of the approximately a million of Rohingya refugees in Bangladesh, many of whom fled a 2017 genocide in Burma. The UN Refugee Agency's data collection practices with Rohingya in Bangladesh were contrary to the agency's own policies and exposed refugees to further risk, Lama Fakih HRW's crisis and conflict director said in a statement. The Global Rights Group interviewed 24 Rohingya refugees between September 2020 and March 2021 about their experience registering with UNHCR in Cox's Bazar, along with aid workers and others who witnessed or participated in the registration. The UN agency insisted its staff asked Rohingya for permission to share their data for repatriation eligibility assessments and explained that the so-called smart card needed to access aid would be issued regardless of whether they agreed to sharing the information. It also said it had provided individual advice to ensure refugees fully understood the purpose of the exercise. But all but one of the 24 refugees told HRW they were never informed the data would be used for anything beyond establishing aid access. They were given a receipt with a box ticked stating that they had agreed to the data being shared with Burma, but only in English which only three of them could read. What became very quickly clear to us is that Rohingya we were speaking to had not been asked for informed consent. Senior HRW researcher Balkis Well told AFP. She urged the UNHCR to conduct an investigation to look carefully at why the decisions at the time were made the way they were. More than four months after Burmese military seized power in a February 1st coup, the Arkan state economy is contracting across nearly every sector. The tourism industry, already badly battered by the COVID-19 pandemic, is on life support with no real prospect for a change in fortunes anytime soon. The banking system teeters on the edge of collapse. Small businesses suffer as incomes have fallen practically across the board. The construction sector is hobbled by an uncertain outlook and rising costs. Last month, developers in Arkan State asked the state-level military council to help ease their difficulties. 
Construction companies are facing challenges such as price surges for building materials, including cement and iron rods and problems with drawing money from banks. As an example, Myanmar Construction Entrepreneurs Association member Usen Ong said, developers these days have to pay about K8 million more than normal expenditure for the purchase of approximately 30 tons of iron rods. Developers who want tenders under the previous government are expected to hand over the buildings in September when the financial year ends but many cannot proceed with construction because in addition to the rising construction materials costs, they cannot readily withdraw money from banks. This is today's news. To get more updates about Rohingya, subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the notification bell. Visit our website azadtvnews.com and follow our social media accounts. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.